guys welcome back to my channel so today I wanted to do a really quick makeup routine for you guys I do this makeup Monday through Friday every single day it takes me about I would say 20 minutes or less to do this makeup routine just because I do it every single day and I use the same product so I got pretty used to it now I do like a pretty long-lasting makeup look because sometimes I wake up at you know 6 a.m. and go to sleep at midnight sometimes so I definitely want to make sure my makeup is not gonna make me look oily throughout the day and I do like to use really foolproof makeup products if you're someone that really likes natural makeup on a daily basis this probably wouldn't be the look for you um, but as you can tell it doesn't look too heavy or cakey um, I you know in my opinion this makeup is pretty simple and neutral so even though I do use quite a few products it doesn't look like it on my skin so yeah let's go ahead and get into it so the very first thing I do is take my Obsession, and this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup, and I have it in the color Desert Beige. This is probably my third bottle that I've gone through in I think about like a year and a half, maybe more, I don't know. I don't use very much because it's like probably one of the thickest foundations I own, but since I am up for a long time throughout the day, I wanna make sure that I'm covering all of my acne, as you can see, I'm breaking out, I don't know why, and all of my oily skin that will definitely peek through throughout the day if I don't have a heavy duty foundation um, if you guys don't like foundations this heavy then I would definitely try maybe a BB cream or anything else but this is definitely foolproof and I rely on this a lot throughout the day and then the next thing that I like to do is take the Makeup Forever Full Cover Extreme Camouflage Cream and I have it in the number six. And I just use this mainly to conceal any blue tones under my eyes. I don't use a ton because I like to go back in and brighten my under eyes. And for that I go in with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circle in the color Fair. And I basically just make a V right under my eyes and then place this on any other parts of my face that I want to brighten. And then I know I'm absolutely concealer crazy, but after that I go in with the new Bare Minerals Well Rested Face and Eye Brightener. Um, this isn't new, but it's new for me, so I am trying it out. And I just like to combine it with both of these just because the Well Rested is like a white consistency almost. Um, and it really helps brighten and I just really like that effect. And then since I do use quite a bit of concealer under my eyes, I like to go in with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. And this is again just a translucent powder that really helps brighten even further. But if I don't do this step, oh my computer definitely was going dark there. Um, if I don't do this step, then my eyes will crease underneath and that's just not a good look. Um, but I promise after all of this is set and in place, it doesn't look like I'm wearing a ton of makeup, but it definitely conceals any blue tones I might have and really just gives me a brightening effect. So if you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll know I've been obsessed with, for years, the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, but recently I've changed to something a bit more heavy duty because I just started a new job and I'm gone a lot longer than I was before. So the Rimmel Stay Matte wasn't keeping me matte throughout the day and it was almost just kind of like a translucent cover for oil and I wanted something a bit more heavy duty. So I just purchased the MAC Studio Fix in the color NC30. And then after that, I like to bronze my face because I look like a pale ghost right now compared to my body. Uh, I'm just gonna take an Eco Tools brush, a really cheap brush that I've been using for a long time, and I'm just gonna use the Benefits Hula Bronzer. I like this bronzer because it's matte and it really stays on my skin. I find that a lot of bronzers that I use just kind of like disappear. I don't know what it is throughout the day. Maybe I'm touching my face too much, but this one really stays in place and it really does mimic the natural shadows of my face. Um, and I really like to stick to matte bronzers to give an airbrush effect. And then for blush, this is probably my all-time favorite blush of life, and I decided to just use it every day. I used to save it for special occasions, but I realized I can just buy another one because it's not out of stock. Um, this is a Cargo Blu-ray High Definition Makeup Blush, and this is just in the color pink. Just your standard pink. I like it because it's matte, it's super creamy, it blends really well, um, and it's really good for an everyday basis. So since Monday through Friday I go to work, I don't want to look like a disco ball when I'm wearing highlighter. Um, I used to wear the Bombs Mary Luminizer, but I just found that it was a little bit too intense and not appropriate if you're trying to be a bit more sophisticated um, in a workplace setting. So I've recently switched to MAC Soft and Gentle, which is a cult favorite and I seriously love it. Um, you need it if you don't have it in your collection already. But yeah, I just use a little bit of this on the high points of my face just to make everything a bit more glowy since I do wear a lot of matte products. 
So of course I'm gonna do my eyebrows. And this is probably my least favorite part of my everyday makeup routine. Um, my eyebrows, I don't know what it is, but over the years they've just been getting sparser and sparser. I think because I had them waxed when I grew up a lot and threaded that a lot of my hairs just did not stay around. I don't know what it is. So I have to spend a lot of time doing this and I already did an um, updated eyebrow routine a few months ago. So I'll go ahead and link that below if you guys haven't seen it. But I'm just using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the color Soft Brown just to give a really natural eyebrow effect. So for an everyday basis, I don't like to go really intense with my eyeshadow. I like it to look metallic and fresh and pretty natural. So I'm just going to be using three of my favorite eyeshadows from MAC. The first one is Shroom and I just place this underneath my brow bone and on the inner corners of my eyes. And then for the lid, I'm just gonna go in with Max All That Glitters on a really fluffy brush from Flower Beauty. And if you guys haven't tried Flower before, um, it's a Drew Barrymore line that's actually available at Walmart and their products are super cheap and their brushes are just so fluffy and the hairs don't come off even though they're really cheap and I just would highly recommend these brushes if you're in need of a really affordable eyeshadow brush. And then after that, I'm gonna go in with Max Woodwinked on a MAC 217 brush and just deepen the crease. And then this next product is a must have if you are a liquid eyeliner fanatic like me. I wear liquid eyeliner every day and it never becomes easier, I don't know why, but with this product, it honestly, you can't mess up because it's such a fine point. It does not budge on your eye and it's like the blackest black, so it's super pigmented. This is the L'Oreal Linear Intense in the color Black Mica. You can get it from the drugstore and I believe it's really cheap since it is L'Oreal. And yeah, I seriously use this every single day and it has not run out yet in a few months. And then I'm gonna go in with one of my new favorite mascaras. This is Estee Lauder Sumptuous Bold Volume Lifting Mascara. And then as always, I'm just gonna top it off with the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara just to give it some more length. And then since I'm really crazy about brightening my eyes, I'm gonna go in with the Rimmel Scandalize Eyeliner in the color Nude. I'm just gonna put that on my bottom waterline and then apply a bit more mascara to my bottom lashes. And then for this lip combination, I seriously use it every single day and love it because I feel like it's the perfect nude for um, work appropriate atmospheres. So I'm gonna go in with the Rimmel Lasting Finish Lip Liner. This is probably my favorite nude lip liner because it's almost the same color as my lips. And I'm just gonna go in with the color Natural number 49. And then on top of that, I'm gonna go in with an old favorite and this is Rimmel's Airy Fairy. Um, one of their lasting finish lipsticks and then on top of that I'm gonna go in with a gloss from Urban Decay. This is their lip junkie lip gloss um, What color is this? This is in the color Midnight Cowboy. So that's pretty much it for this makeup look um, I did forget to mention that I pretty much use this on an everyday basis. This is just I have a few drops left of my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Um, I don't really use this to make my makeup last longer like it says. I kind of just use it to help mesh all the makeup together and it just kind of gives more of an airbrush effect and helps blend the bronzer with the blush and the powder. Um, so I do like to use this but it's definitely not a necessary step. But other than that, this is what I do on an everyday basis. So if you guys like videos like these, go ahead and give this one a big thumbs up for me below. And make sure to subscribe to my channel for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So yeah, Thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!